on? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to wait for me. No, I, I just wanted to know when, when the recording was started. That's all. You're on tape now. Thank you. meeting to order at 6.02. Um, tonight's purpose is to um, come up with a plan of what we're going to submit as our recommendation to the Board of Selectmen. So um, do you want to go over what you, what you have here? Sure. Okay. Uh, option one was for police facility only. Um, the revised figure for that was 1,169,327.48. Contingency equipment and furnishings, um, 332,672.60. So should be no more than 1.5 million. Uh, the bond rate currently for 30 years um, would be a $50,000 payment for the bond. Uh, the interest rate, uh, as you see on the attached chart, it, 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 decreases every year. Um, option two for both facilities, it's 1,991,000. It's going to be 700 and something, 790, something 41, but there's no number missing there. Mm -hmm. Contingency equipment and furnishings, 400,000, to bring it up to 2,391,779.44. Now, um, this bond rate, uh, initially, initially, before we knew what the total cost was going to be, we asked for a bond rate of 2.5 million for 30 years. Mm -hmm. So actually, the 85,000 is actually a high number. Mm -hmm. You're probably closer looking to, probably closer to probably 75,000. Is that the per year? Per year. Okay. So that's, the that, that's, that's just, just the bond, bond. part. That's not the interest. That's not the interest. That's just okay. the bond. So we would be paying $85,000. Well, yeah. a little less, less than 85,000. Okay. But then you have to add the interest. interest. Then you have to add interest okay. on top of that. And so that would be for 30 years. That'd be 30 years. Um, I did make some notes. Obviously, some of the equipment that uh, that we purchased for the new building would be offset by EOC and home and security grants. Um, I know there's there is uh, uh, some money in the CIP now. If we went with option one, I guess I would recommend that at least until this year, the town put aside fifty thousand dollars to put into the fund for the building. If you went if the town went with option one, I would recommend we put that fifty. 
and that would be the, that would be your bond payment, and then you the town would come up with the with the interest uh, some 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 allocation. Um, under option number two, then you could use that entire amount that's currently in there and, and put that towards the bond and or interest in the future as well. Um, option number two, uh, you know, it means leaving this building, saying adios, whatever, um, either looking for someone to buy it or maybe a developer that would come in and remodel it and uh, place it back on, on the tax rolls. Uh, we do know that uh, there may be somebody who might be interested in doing that. Um, but having said that, you know, you, they're not going to come in and give you a million dollars to build and then spend several million dollars to renovate it. Uh, you know, this company takes old municipal buildings and refurbishes them and repurposes them and puts them back on the, on the tax rolls. Uh, if you want with just option one, obviously it's significantly cheaper for the town of Rawls. So uh, I, know, I know in the past some folks have asked, you know, what, what's a town going to save here if the police leave? And, it's hard to say what you're going to say because the, all of the utilities are, are combined together. But certainly if the police leave, you know, we're the only ones that, have, that are running computers 24 hours a day here and maintaining all the, the equipment downstairs, uh, cameras and whatnot. So if we left, there would be some savings in electricity, some savings in the AC, and some savings in the heat because you would maintain those utilities downstairs. I couldn't tell you it was $2,000 a year, $4,000 a year, about $5,000 a year, unfortunately. But there will be some savings. So. so the other thing that, that um, I had mentioned it to the board and a possible repurpose of this building, if everyone went, is to um, keep it on the historical part of it and, and possibly um, have a Wellsford Museum for all of the history that we have. Something like what someone's with it to their old, their old city. I think that was the city hall, right? Yeah, the city hall yes. So, I mean, just another thought, you know, being able to um, maintain it as it is, and then having a good purpose of it is trying to bring some of the stuff. There's a lot of stuff out there that, you know, we might get support about having come in here. And just a thought. Um, so, um, so going forward, um, the select board is going to have to have a public hearing on this if we bring this forward. Um, what is the what is the recommendation? Well, there's there's another issue too. Is that we the, the suggestion was to have it on the five acre lot, which isn't going to happen because we did that didn't go through. So the proposal is to go to Silver Street, unless they can find five acre lot. So we days and meet the select board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, they can look at other options, but the board can look at other options if it's possible, but the plan that possibly was going to happen isn't going to happen, so that's, so there will be no development, I mean no um, enlargement to that five acre lot then, like, I mean, um, Silver Street lot, like we had talked about eventually connecting fire or whatever, mm -hmm. if it was on the five acre. So we make sure that we'll make sure that they understand that, that at this point the proposal is to have it on Silver Street. Um, what else do we need to tell them? Because what I guess we're going to do is we're going to take this proposal here of what you did, and then kind of I'll kind of write up something that says this is from the committee, and I'll have y'all read it before I submit it to the board um, about what our suggestion is. They still have the final say. They still have to accept it or not accept it. So, um, and, and I think one of the things that I'm a little encouraged by is that the school is not having a major project this year. So that is not going to have two huge projects on us. Doesn't mean they won't have it in the near, um, another year, but they're not going for what they were originally going to go for. So, um, so we're proposing to have it on Silver Street. Are we proposing one? One floor two. My two cents is we do them both. I mean, we go with the combined facility, uh, police and town hall. Um, it's just the the amount of money that we've sunk into this building. It seems to be never ending, and I don't think it's ever going to change. And if police leave, there's going to be even less um, utilization of this building. And to me, it just doesn't make sense 
to have that small number of people in here and we heat the whole thing and, and do everything. I think it's it's time um, to at least present this to uh, the voters and say, look, this is this is what we want to do and what and why. Mm -hmm. um, it seems every year there's been some other issue that comes up here with maintenance issues, heating issues, cooling issues, mm -hmm. whatever, water issues. Uh, I don't think that's going to end. Um, and I think it's um, the wise, although you know, expensive is you know to say okay, we need we need a new building. Mm -hmm. And I would you know just adding on further, I would be really leery about keeping this building for you know another municipal service like a a museum or something because then we still are going to have to correct the heating. I mean the insulation and all those other issues that we're trying to get away from here, and you know unless we're also proposing a full rehab of the building um, in order to put this museum in or whatever, mm -hmm. it's still gonna you know we're still gonna have this building and we're gonna have to heat it, cool it, and, and deal with all the issues here. Yeah, um, just to let you know, <coughs> this year we're proposing to put a new furnace in mm -hmm. um, through CIP. Yeah. So, um, but how many do we have? Is it just one? One mm -hmm. front. Front. Yes. Okay. So, so is is the downstairs and the upstairs separated so you can shut one part off and the other one goes still so it's zoned? Correct. Yes. Okay. Um so my two cents is we do we do both mm -hmm. police and town hall in one, you know, as, as one proposal. Okay. Um I'm going to be abstaining because I've got a, as town moderator, I've got to preside over a uh, uh, over deliberative session where this, these questions are going to be debated and amendments are going to be offered and so forth. So I, don't think, I don't think ultimately what I believe is, is that important anyway, um, and I do want to be able to say that I haven't taken a public position on, on what we should do. I guess my caution would be I think some people are going to look at $2.4 million and say, boy, for $2.4 million, you could, you could actually fix this place. Um, and we may be asked you know, why we don't think that's the best option. And I think that the, the team has a recommendation for that. Mm -hmm. um, but that would be my, my, my sense of it is to, mm -hmm. it's, uh, um, to I don't know. I don't know how, how large the constituency is, but I think there is a constituency for the building. Mm -hmm. So we just be ready to answer those questions mm -hmm. and have the conversation. Um, and what I would note from working at the university is I've seen the university building a lot of new buildings, and the idea that you don't spend money maintaining new buildings, no. Um, and the idea that the contractors stand behind their new buildings, no. Um, that Holloway Commons that they put up within 10 years, the university is putting a new roof on. Um, and, I, you know, it's not my call why they didn't have contract litigation over that. But mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think it's, in my experience, the, the, the argument that you don't have maintenance on new construction is good for maybe three years, maybe five. But, but I you also have to maintain the structure. Yeah. That's the key. And I also think that's something that, um, you know, the case has to be made for that. Yeah, it's a new building, but as soon as the as soon as the building's occupied, we have to have a maintenance budget, mm -hmm. and we have to address these issues. And you know, periodic maintenance has got to be done. I mean, mm -hmm. if you don't change the oil in your car, yeah, you might get you know forty thousand miles, but at some point, it's going to say, I'm not running well. anymore. Yeah. You have to do those things, and we have to, you know present that to the public that, yeah, it's going to be a new building, but we're, we're not going to be able to just, you know, say, well, it's, it's good for the next 20 years. We're still going to have to be, you know, maintaining it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's a pitch we need to make. Um, or, or that needs to be presented to the voters and say, look, yeah, building's here, it, this is what it costs, but it's, it, there's still going to be costs involved. However, I yeah. still think it will be less than what we spend here on, on trying to trying to keep this and um, you know I, I just again I, I've said this for a while I, I really think we're we're pouring money in here that could be better spent mm -hmm. on a better facility. Okay. Okay. Um,
Okay. On the record. I, I think I've said that uh, everything I need to say at this point. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it, it, it's really in your hands. I do know. <coughs> is the select board behind doing something with this building? Or is the select board behind that you're aware at this point going forward with this for the voters? It's hard to, it's hard to read. Okay. At least one of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I think that there's support of doing something. I'm not sure there which direction they would go. Because it, it's hard. We, re, we haven't had the formal conversation on the select board meeting, just giving updates of what we've talked about. So really, I mean, I, I will be as surprised as everyone else on what the final decision is, because you know, nobody's really said 100% that they're accepting myself. That so, I, you know, just based upon history, I think, I think we're doomed from the beginning. If we don't have the support of the select board, and the budget committee for this process. You know, I, mean, I, I think both of them need to be on board. Absolutely. Uh, if not, then you know, I think we're all just wasting our time here. I, don't know. I agree. I agree. So. so I think once this gets submitted to them, then they have to take a stand. And then yeah. they have to take it publicly. Sure. Um, whichever direction they choose to go. I mean, it's, it's yeah, um, public conversation. And, have the, and then, then it's the budget committee that's taking a stand as well. Um, so it will. That will be our clear decision whether yeah. what we've done has been a waste of time or yeah. or it's uh, it's going to go forward. Yeah. We'll but if it isn't this, then it's got to be something yeah. here because this is. Well, that. that's what I was going to say. In addition, you know, if the select board doesn't act, this, then okay, what are you going to do here? Mm -hmm. Because it's got to be one or the other. Mm -hmm. You can't just say we're not going to do anything. Something has to be done. So mm -hmm. what is it? You know, my opinion is that the select board is looking at long-term projects about about something to try to help in um, the heating, the AC, the generators, all of those kind of things. They're trying to get them on CIP so they, you know, they are either maintained or replaced in the years in which they're supposed to be. So I think that this select board is taking proactiveness, whether or not it's going to be as much as it should be. I don't know. Because this this would be more this would be more than what the new station is going to be, and you still have a hundred year old building. That's the problem. And you don't know, have additional room that you know we could use downstairs, or and that the town could use uh, yeah. in the future either. So. Yeah. Okay, Ms. Kim. Sorry, that's a six thirty. So we're just um, talking um, about what the plan is going forward. We have to make a recommendation to a, to or what to bring to the board of selectmen. Um, these are the uh, quotes uh, that Bob got and uh, the proposal of the um, what it would cost if it was bonded. And um, we just have to. I mean, when you're ready, you can certainly um, let us know what your thoughts are. Did you guys already talk about? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So, um, any other comments? Um, so, and just to recap, Kim, um, Bill suggests going for for option two to to do municipal mm -hmm. and police. Um, Chief is saying that you know, he thinks it's up to the select board and budget committee to. Uh, to establish a direction, mm -hmm. and Denise, I'm not sure I should speak for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I should definitely should speak for you. No, no, that's okay. I, 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 I'm for bringing it forward, both of, for the, both of them, just because of, you'd still have to do something here if you didn't bring it. And, and I'm going to abstain, given that I'm going to have to moderate the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. deliberative sessions. Okay. So he said that it was going to be approximately eighty-five thousand a year. That's high. That's a high number. For thirty years, for that's option the two. That does not include the interest. Mm -hmm. um, and the plans didn't change any with the original plan. That I mean, the two floors. I didn't. No, the only thing that changed downstairs was the addition of the elevator shaft and the entrance for the town hall. Uh, when we added the second, so, so, yeah, we had so, to put the shaft yeah, so there. Put okay. them in the buildings. Yeah. So the, the the way it's proposed now, you come in, you got the police, and up the right, you got the main entrance to upstairs. Okay. Okay. Um, 
No, is it going to be an elevator like that one, or is it going to be a fucking you know? It's going to be a real elevator. It's going to be a real elevator. So. Yeah. I guess I can add the phrase that I know there are some employees that work on this floor that do not like being on the second floor of the new building. They say why? I haven't heard that. They don't believe that Tom Hall should be on the second floor. Even with an elevator? Right. So, um, that's what they told me. Is there any reason for it? Just that they don't believe. They've never seen a town hall on the second floor of a building before. Well, that's always first. And I so, said, well, you know, you're almost on the second floor of this building because you have to walk up, you know, have we ever three quarters of the flight of stairs to get to, the, to this to this floor, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's like a really good reason. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would really no. have to know. I mean, no, what, it's not, we have to have an elevator. That's, that's an yeah. obvious, so, I mean. Well, you would have a and you stairs would, and you elevator. Right? Stairs and an elevator. A little lobby, to nice lobby to walk into. Yeah. And then you can either go to the right, go upstairs, if the elevator or the stairs to go upstairs, or you'll have a separate entrance into the larger conference room, so folks, you can go right straight in through there to the meetings as opposed mm -hmm. to walking with the PD to get to the conference yeah. room. Yeah, that's If it's a non-police yeah. function. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. That note. So about <coughs> the um, the contingency equipment furnishings, um, you made a note below that there's some potentially a grant. Um, is that so? The grant would be some number um, minus that three hundred and thirty thousand. Correct. Any idea what that would be? No. no. Is this? Um, oh, okay. no, no. do we not get that grant if it's a town hall police department? No, because it's, it's really for the EOC. Mm -hmm. So we would get the grants, whether it's just police or whether it's police and town. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, and you said the interest rates last year, you said the interest rates were still changed on the bond day? Correct. They have not changed since uh, that request, and that date was September 11th. Well, their rates go up when they have a sale. They sell the bonds. I'm not sure how often they sell the bonds. Mm -hmm. uh, Once a year. So equipment is more radios. And, I mean. Um, Dispatching center or that kind of stuff, or of course, it's not desks and stuff like that, right? Yes. It's well, well, equipment furnishings is what I'm saying. Oh. Desk, chairs, uh, uh, boards similar to this, okay. uh, you know, push button boards, lockers, uh, things like that. This also includes phone, alarm security, as well. Okay. For the whole building, for not just please. Yes, for the whole okay. building. Yes. When you re-talked to um, this contractor, did they tell you approximately how far you would be out in construction time if it would get past? They said that uh, if it was approved in March, <clears throat> before winter, they could at least have the um, the footings and the uh, and a weather tight shell. So they would have the, they would have the winter to, to work on the interior. Winter is in March, or winter is in December. Winter as in no, the, yeah, the beginning of the year. December of November, December of 2019. Oh no! Oh, okay. So yeah. it's, it's going to take them until December 2019. No, they would start before winter, so they get the weather tight shell in, okay. and then the winter of 2019 to January 2020, they would work on the interior of the building. Okay. That's based upon the schedule now. That's something to change, of course, if right. they end up getting a lot more work between now and when the town says, gives them a blessing. So, so a delivery date in the spring, so I would Correct. We knew it was going to be a year from the fall, okay. anyway. Yes. <clears throat> So 
about <clears throat> the floor plan for the second floor. Did you talk with um, your staff here at all about that uh, footprint? Not about this footprint. I talked to them prior to uh, drawing up that, that floor plan. Mm -hmm. And again, that's just for illustrative purposes at this point. Mm -hmm. um, walls can be moved to make rooms smaller or larger. And there's no increase to the cost of that. However, if we take a room and divide it into two, now you're getting into some additional cost because you're looking at additional ventilation, heating, things like that. Um, but I went through and I asked uh, Caroline, uh, you know, what she thought for the number of offices that we offices that we would need for the future, and uh, it's represented on there. Plus, they've also added a uh, small conference room up for the upstairs folks as well. Mm -hmm. so. <coughs> um, have they seen this floor plan? Uh, I think Caroline has. I'm not sure if the tax collector of the town clerk have seen it. So this this um <coughs> this side of the building, uh, this is the front of the building. I can't, I can't see upside down yet. So yes, this is the front of the building. So this would be the Silver Street side. Yep. So access is over here. Access to the town hall would be on the right. The parking lot would be like this. It would be like an L shape. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So the square feet, it's only larger because of your um, your bay area here, right? Everything else, is, it's it's equal going up, correct? Your square footage. No. If you look to the right. They added the, you see where it says lobby, and then you have the uh, drawing for the stairs mm -hmm. and the storage. Mm -hmm. That's all added because of the elevator shaft and the, and the access to the second floor. Okay. So they added um, uh, about nine feet to the width to accommodate the elevator shaft and the stairs. Okay. But it says the police station is 7642 square feet, and the upper level is 6197. Is it because of you were That's because of the garage. Okay. Yeah, that includes the garage. Okay. <clears throat> so there's no loss of space in the original plan for this then? No. Okay. What's the total footprint then on the top of your head? It's 102 60. by 60, <clears throat> and the garage is 28 by 50. Um, so the cost, this um, 1.9 million, or two, actually 1.9 million on the building. Um, so typically, you can kind of plan for a 10% overage. Does that include that, or is that a fixed cost? As of right now, it's a fixed cost. Okay. Yeah. But, um, have, you, have you talked about that at all? About any um, overages potentially? Well, that would, that would uh, we did, and um, um, those things would be negotiated through contract at the appropriate time. As to you know, if you wanted to add a clause that you had to have done by a certain day, if it comes on, on the budget, is there a bonus? Uh, if it's late, is, you know, is there a penalty? Things like that. So, as of right now, to have the building that's at the quality of the Farmington station, that's what the fixed cost is. Um, where did you get your numbers for the um, contingency and function? Is it kind of just an uh, estimate? I get estimates for the phone system, the security system, uh, the, uh, how, how, and whatnot. How much are those good for? So, well, it's good to change, of course. Uh, <laughs> but I, I did add, because I, what I did is I just rounded it up to 1.5. Yep. I think that's going to be a high number. Uh, and likewise, um, you know, I put in 400 <laughs> for. Um, the entire building. I, I think that's just a little high, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I didn't want to be in a position where we were many years ago where we didn't have enough money and we don't look at You know, if we save the town some money, it doesn't mean we have, we have to spend it. Mm -hmm. So if it comes in less than whatnot, uh, you know, your bonds lower or you, you put it towards interest or, or mm -hmm. whatever, whatever you folks decide to do. Um. <clears throat> 
<coughs> how much money in the CIP can be used for this? There was 105,000 in there. Um, I don't remember what we we took a little. Well, we kind of like read the CIP can move money around a little bit to um, finance um, a year's thing. But there was 105. I'm pretty certain we're going to be in that ballpark as well. I don't think it was that much different. Is there still a plan for 2019 to put the additional 50 in there as well? Towards the building? Um, I think I have my CIP in here with me. I'll find that out for you. Let me know. I think I have it with me. <clears throat> so about this list below, it was, um, was this, there was a plan in the CIP to address those issues downstairs? Correct. And so they had to come off. Or is that kind of further out? Well, this is this is all yeah further out. Okay. But those are things that obviously need to be addressed sometime and then in the near future. If, if this doesn't get approved, if, right? If it doesn't get approved, yeah. okay. probably until everything. It's probably going to go through for this year at, at least. Because I mean, you're still going to be here another year, um, plus until we know if it's going to pass or not, you're not going to not put something in a, a little thing. Again, I'm speaking <coughs> as myself, not as the board. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure as thrifty as you are, you'll decide what is priority. Pardon me? I'm sure as thrifty as you are, you'll decide what's priority. Of course. <coughs> You know, the plan is to salvage what we can from downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, so. And from upstairs. You know. So, <clears throat> so Bill, um, you and Denise both um, agree that option two is what you would propose going forward? That's what I would propose. <coughs> I, I don't know what. That's what I would, I would propose as well. Yeah. So I, I just think it, it makes sense. I mean, mm -hmm. we've been here before and the money that we spent on this building trying to maintain it and do things it's just it's expensive mm -hmm. so i think the best option uh, in my opinion is to you know do the new building and, and move both the police and the town hall operations into a new building mm -hmm. and we start new there and then this building we do you know whatever the options are we sell it keep it whatever that's for mm -hmm. down the road but I, I think it makes sense my opinion to to do the new building. Are there any transition costs for this? <coughs> Temporary costs for moving from one space to the other? <coughs> well, you're, you're looking at labor to, to move the things, but we can certainly use time to believe so that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there is a company that will provide a truck, if need be, that the police could use to, to move things. Um, they provided a truck when we did the renovation. Um, back in 1998 to move the stuff here downtown and then back so um, there's no cost there what was, what I don't remember what happened to the employees here when this renovation was happening we all moved down to uh, the old bank on front okay. Street oh, nice. and we nice built we built a uh, wall down the middle to separate us from the town from the town portion we were all down there we were all down there yes and then at that time, we, uh, the, Redmond, the old Redmond Club was still mm -hmm. standing up there. So uh, whatever we didn't need to use on a day-to-day -day basis for here and for, for, the, for the police, we stored up, up there. Oh, okay. Hmm. But you wouldn't have that problem if you're building new. You would stay here We're to just use. We just, just moving whatever you're using part. when it's ready. I'm sorry, does anyone remember what the footprint is for the town offices right now? I believe it's 80 by 60. Okay. So it's an increase. For it's an increase, yes. Yeah. Okay. I vote for option two. Thank you. And you have to go soon. Yeah, yeah. If, I, if I can be excused. Yes, you can. Yes, you have to another meeting. Sorry, to go. <laughs> Yeah, okay, the next step is, I'm um, Bill, I will let you know when it's going to be on the board agenda and if okay. the team wants to come in yep. and be supportive of whatever we decide to go for. And then um, we'll back tomorrow night. 
Yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, Thursday night. What's Thursday? Uh, budget fire committee department. at fire oh, department for a tour. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. Um, so the next step is to take a stand, which we kind of have taken that stand. Um, so we need to, um, we'll submit the proposals um, as our recommendation going forward, and I will write up some kind of a consensus of what ha what the questions were and how we got to where we got it, and uh, it will be on the board agenda, and it will be up to the board to make that decision whether or not we bring it forward. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Who drafts the word article in the case it goes forward? Board of Selectmen, I would assume, just because of wording and, yeah. I mean, it has to be free. Yeah. Consultation with town council. Exactly, yeah, yeah, so. Um, <coughs> is there any, well, probably not, any real thought about having option two and option one? I, like, I would in the way. <laughs> I would either just. I would take a stand in which the ones you're recommending, because the board could to make it could make a recommendation. It also could be revised at uh, deliberative mm -hmm. or opinion given at um, the hearing. Um, I think we have to make a decision. This is what we're going to take forward versus having to because. <coughs> um, correct me if I'm wrong. He's moderating. <laughs> If the Warren article was for the total of the two projects and they just wanted to please, they could modify that. It's a lot of money, so I'm not sure it can be taken down that much. Well, you can, you can take money out of a Warren article. What I'm not sure is how you word the Warren article, because the Warren article would be worded to, you know, to see if the town will raise an appropriate sum of money, sum of money to build a police station at Town Hall. If you reduce the money, it still says build a police station in town hall. Maybe you can say strike the words and town hall, reduce the amount. That may work. You can. You can do. You can modify it. Oh, well, well, SB two confuses. Be careful what you wish for on SB two because yeah. well, the uh, bond, it, the, but the school the, changed the the um, it changed it to a study from a recommendation to actually. But once you got the much bond much. article mm -hmm. on the floor, there are fair number of statutes and court decisions about kind of eliminating the legis legislative intent behind the original warrant article. So um, I know that town council told us before the school district um, deliberative session two years ago that there was there was a certain kind of amendment we couldn't we couldn't accept we couldn't make. So. Uh, we so would get that information we're gonna, way before. We're going to find out the, all about that yeah. ahead of time. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it's not. It's you don't have the same freedom on a bond article that you do on other kinds of you know, budget um, budget debates and so forth. Okay. So, so we'd have to find that. We'd have to get that all before even the public hearing before we would even because that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm happy to. Isn't it planning to maybe have the town council have a little bit? Oh yeah. Probably. <laughs> Pretty much always. Yeah, I, would, I would think so. Yeah. yeah, we usually do anyway. Yeah. Particularly yeah. when there's a bond article because you have to have the polls open for a certain period of time yeah. and there's all kinds of. And also being the first one for SB2 for the town, mm -hmm. I would assume that we would have council there. Okay, so um, if I understand it correctly then, that we are in favor of the plan extension um, due to a conflict to go forward with the two floor plan. Did I, I'm correct, right? Yes. Yes, okay. And Bill was there as well. Yes. Okay. So I will um, I write, write up the proposal. I will send it to you guys um, before Monday night's meeting. I'll get us on the board on the, oh God, we're not meeting for two weeks. Sure, yeah. January. And New Year's Eve. Oh, we actually, we're meeting the Thursday January the 3rd. 3rd. There's, I'll get us on the third. January third. Yes. Yeah. Because um, we not because we weren't meeting for two whole week, uh, almost two whole weeks. So I will see if we can get on the January third um, agenda. Um, and uh, so I will have that written up and send it to you all and make, um, make sure any comments or suggestions to change. 
to, um, and this is just going to the floor selectmen right now for them to, um, because I guess um, Caroline was asking um, about the bond because even picking up the phone and talking to them, it costs us money. So she's been instructed not to do anything until we, they have, there's been a vote to go forward. So, um, but once they take the stand to go forward, then they'll instruct Caroline to talk to the bond. Because they're lawyers, or because they're, um, is it, is it the legal part of it? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, all, all, all I know is that bond counsel is a, a specialized kind of legal case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that would be the plan then to get us on the third of uh, January's agenda, and um, hopefully everyone can be there so we can come up as a unified front. And then see where the board takes it. And they don't have time to take, they have to make that decision soon in order to get our yarn articles and, and, and for the parents and the others. So I'm sure that we will have a um, answer quickly. Or I'll keep the buyer copy. Because <laughs> they, they don't have time to um, put it off. Maybe. Maybe until the next Monday or something. I think over the weekend that would be that would be it. Um, so, is that a consensus that that we go forward like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, anything else we want to bring up about this? Mm -hmm. Bob, I'm sure is available for any questions that we have before then, right? I will certainly be there. Yes. Okay. So. Um, all right, if that's it, I guess we can adjourn and we will see you in the third for sure. Thank you. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Chief, thank you very much, Paul.